You are still watching Gist Nigeria from the BBC and Channels Television. I am Wali Fakili. Many thanks for staying with us. Coming up, the engineer supporting young entrepreneurs through capital financing in Aquaibom. But before then, in February 2020, a shocking video circulated on Chinese social media. A group of young African children were instructed by a voice of camera to chant phrases in Mandarin. The kids repeated the words with smiles and enthusiasm, but they didn't understand that what they were told to say was, I'm a black monster and my IQ is low. Uh, this report investigates who made it, where and why it was filmed. In China, over the past few years, it's become a thing to send personalized greeting videos via social media and messaging apps. Videos featuring Africans, including children, have become especially popular. These videos sell for up to 70 US dollars each. The content can be innocent enough, but some of them are controversial. And in early 2020, one video shared on Chinese social media was particularly shocking. The word the children are using is heigui, which could be translated as black monster or black devil. But really, it's the Chinese equivalent of the N-word. The video sparked a worldwide debate about anti-black racism in China. And today, what I found on the internet was so disgusting. But no one was held accountable. With Africa Eye, I set out to find out where it was filmed and who made it. My colleagues and I examined hundreds of videos cross-referencing them against satellite imagery from Google Earth. Eventually, we managed to pinpoint the exact location where many of them were filmed, a village in Malawi. The children and several other people we spoke to all mentioned one filmmaker called Susu, which sounds like the Chinese word for uncle. We found out his real name, Lu Ke. And after gathering more evidence, we sent an undercover journalist to meet him. He showed him the low IQ video. He said, this was mine. He said, this was mine. This video? Yeah. And then he says, oh, no, 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 no. It, this is not me. It was my friend. It was time to speak to Luca ourselves. I asked him in Chinese why he had made the video. Because I just want to spread the Chinese culture. Music, dance, and Chinese words, Chinese language, you know, the, the words and singing Chinese songs. I pushed him further, saying this was exploitation. Have you finished? I did not exploit them. Okay, he's admitted having opinions that were not very kind about black people and about Malawian people. Yes. But he said this was five years ago, and he's denied everything that we have seen in video. Our investigation found this isn't just one video. It's part of a massive industry. And there are many other children across the continent being exploited for the profit and entertainment of people far, far away.